Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. Back B. Hey, we the only team don't play games. Championship reigns, need champagne. Babylon can't stop this campaign. Rampage, cause I know why the heat the rage. Cause the guys be bringing it out. This kingdom, we bringing it down. Lost sheep, we'd have been found. Wait until we get a crown. Crown talk. Yeah, this that crown talk. Nehemiah don't want to be like Nino Brown now. Cause this that king talk. Real life king talk. Like Solomon, I see things clearly like a greenhouse. The wordplay can't get colorful. The scriptures cutting you the butter too. Not to mention, we a living legend. Don't know what to do when a myth is standing right in front of you. You better watch and just take notes. The father sent the flood in a rainbow. But his son coming back with fire. So it ain't gonna be no more scapegoats. Let me tell you what the prophecy. Unparalleled with the prophecies. Stopping Fritz, bodies in the street. My people, property in this monopoly. Call it America. Where the dreams come true. When nightmares and the demons come to the side of my agenda, I don't give a damn if you offended. God, homosexuality is against the Bible. What you're doing is an abomination unto the Most High God. Romans 1 and verse 26. I'm going to show you that. Same sex is abomination unto God. God up. does not approve of that. Right. You cannot reproduce. You're supposed to be man and woman. Read. The book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 26. Uh -huh. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Vile affection is a disgusting thing. Uh -huh. Read. For even their women did change the natural use. You changed the natural use of, you're supposed to be reproducing to non-reproduction. You're supposed to be having babies and building up a nation, but yet you're mocking God. Read. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. That's against nature. What you're doing as homosexuality is against nature. Right. You're supposed to be marrying against your own nation, which is man and woman. Now, men and men and women and women. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 24 and 10, when it's talking about there should be no whores in the daughter of Zion, 23 and 17. That is abomination. You are asleep, and we are here to wake you up. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. Read. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. See, sister, there should be no whores, meaning you should change your lifestyle. You fall into oppression. That's not right. Proverbs 3 and 31. Read. No, a sodomite of the sons of Israel. No, read that old. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel. No, there should be no whores in Moorhead, Mississippi. No whores. You're supposed to be right. Read. No, a sodomite of the sons of Israel. There should be no whores 
nor sodomite, meaning gay people in Moorhead, Mississippi. We're supposed to turn this community upside down with the Bible. Read. Uh, yeah. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 31. This is who taught you how to do same-sex marriages. Man on man, woman on women. Your oppressor taught you that. Read. And be thou not the oppressor. Don't follow the heathen ways. Read. And choose none of his ways. You're not supposed to be choosing none of his ways because God made you separate among them. That's right. You special against the most high. But yet, you fooling. We got an old man out here that's supposed to be teaching y'all the right way. But yet, he's acting like a little kid. Jeez. Give me Job 32 and verse 9. Bring it up. The wise man is supposed to be teaching us. But yet, the wise man has failed us. He's drunk. He don't know. He's a belligerent. Read. The book of Job chapter 32 and verse 9. Great men are not always wise. So he may say in Moorhead, Mississippi, I done circled this block so many times, I know the ins and outs. Well, that's a damn lie. Read. Neither do the age understand judgment. Neither the age understand judgment. Knowing that we got to change our sisters. Knowing our sisters are princesses and not whores. Right. Knowing our brothers are not sodomites, but they are the gods of this earth. That's right. He's supposed to be out here teaching you, but he ain't. Read it over. Great men are not always wise. Brother, you must change your ways. Thus saith the Lord. Read. Neither do the aged understand judgment. You're supposed to understand judgment and change this community. But you're not. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. God said you were special people. Read. Give me Deuteronomy 23 and 17. Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 17. This is what the Bible says. Read. There shall be no harm of the daughters of Israel. There shall be no horses in Moorhead, Mississippi. Read. No a sodomite of the sons of Israel. There should be no whores and no gay people in Moorhead, Mississippi. And that say, thus said the Lord. That's right. The Bible said that, not me. Right. Right. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Y'all special. Thus said the Lord. Not whores. Not adulterers. Right. Not, not none of that. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So he chose us, the people in Moorhead, who come from the 12 tribes of Israel. Y'all are God's special people. It's about time you wake up and repent. Right. Give me Romans 13 and 11 because we got the greatest news ever. This is the greatest information that you're going to hear. Wait, give me Exodus 16, 22 and 16. Because guess what? You enticing somebody, you got to marry that sister. Right. Not sleep with the sister and cause her to be a whore. That said the Lord. Change this community. Breathe. Exodus chapter 22 and verse 16. Uh -huh. And if a man entice a maid. A man entice a maid. We just seen somebody trying to entice somebody. Read. That is not be Trump. That is not betrothed, meaning she's single, she's not even married. But yeah, y'all doing foolishness. Read. Right. And lie with her. So next minute you know you're going to have sex with her. Right. But you spoke, there's consequences behind that. Read. He shall surely endow her to be his wife. You got to marry the sister. That's right. Because when you have sex, you're going to knock her up. You got to take care of that baby. Right. But if you don't, you causing her to be a whore, and you a whoremonger. Give me Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. There's a lot of enticing, but not a lot of marriage. We got to build a nation. But yeah, y'all want to mock God. Y'all tripping. Read. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable and all. Marriage is honorable. Not spend game and trying to entice the sister to have sex with her. Marriage is honorable. Read. And the bed under fire. So the bed is under fire when you're married. I mean, you could do whatever between you and your wife. Right. Read. But whoremongers and adulterers. Which I see in Moorhead, Mississippi. Read. 
God will judge. God go judge you, give you STD, make you have single parent. That is not right. That's why he said marriage is honorable. That's right. But yet, Morehead, Mississippi, want to dishonor, disobey the Most High God's law. We out here to show you love. Leviticus 19 and 17. We out here to show y'all that y'all the greatest people. Y'all Christian pastors ain't going to tell you that. But we out here to tell you that. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. We not out here to hate you, but to give you the wisdom to wake up more ahead Mississippi. Right. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We see a lot of foolishness. A lot of people enticing other people to have sex with them. We are here to change that. Change your ways. Read. And not suffer sin upon them. We don't want to see that time of judgment. We want to see you get the kingdom, fight and strive, fight your sins. But look, y'all ignoring it. Y'all don't want to hear this knowledge. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. That's a lot of hating going on. Secret hatred. That's not supposed to go down. The Bible said gather gather unto each other. We got to come together in Moorhead, Mississippi. Change the community. Stop the whoremonger. Stop the adultery. Come back. Stop selling poison to your people. Read. The book of Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Yay. Gather together, O nation not desired. We're that nation not desired. They look at us as fools. But we're not fools. We're special. We got to wake up to that. That's why we get shot down in the street. That's why you got the Trayvon Martin, the Mike Brown. That's why we got the massacre in El Paso. You got ICE taking our brothers, our Hispanic brothers and sisters. Because we're not obeying God's law. And you want to know this Bible is a true book. Deuteronomy 28 and 32. It happened weeks ago in Morton, Mississippi. And it could happen in Moorhead, Mississippi. Change your ways. Because we out here to warn you. God is not to be played with. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Just like you see now in slavery, it has happened in 2019. Our Hispanic brothers and sisters was took it. The kids were separated from their families and put on concentration camp. They can't see their parents anymore. Same thing that happened to us when we was brought over here on slave ships. Read. And I, I shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. We have no might. We don't even have the knowledge. But we are here to give you that knowledge to change. Read. And there shall be no might in thine hand. Do we have any economical might in Moorhead, Mississippi? No. Do we have any government might in Moorhead, Mississippi? No. That means we not desired. Right. We're not welcome. We two-thirds of a human. How the hell we here? Come on now. Moorhead, Mississippi, wake up. Read. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. We don't even have resources. We don't own that discount store. We don't even own a damn street in Moorhead, Mississippi. But your oppressor do. We'll fight for a street that we don't even own. What kind of sense does that make? Deuteronomy 28, 28. We stricken with madness. We are a cursed generation, but we are to wake you guys up. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. Look at our people. We worried about drinking. We worried about whoremongering. We think that's a thing to do. That is not a thing to do. We, We think we can sag our pants. What the hell is that? Our community is backwards, but we out here to change that. Read. The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness. We blindness because we don't know we are the children of Israel and we're God chosen people. Right. We got to wake up and come back to this knowledge. Right. And astonishment of heart. We are an astonishment. We looked at niggas and spooks and spits. But we are the greatest people in this nation. Right. We created everything. Right. But we don't get the credit because we are cursed people. Wake up, boy. We used to scream black power. 
while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.